मेरे से भी बड़ा पेट है ये मैसूर पाक का पूरा घी फी लेता है यू कैन एंजॉय सांबार राइस सांबार सादम वेन यू हैव ए स्वीट अलॉन्ग फर्स्ट यू हैव टू टेक ए बाइट ऑफ मैसूर पाक माई मॉम यूज टू मेक अ मैसूर पाक इट इज नाइस एंड सॉफ्ट एंड लिटरली मेल्ट इन योर माउथ आई लव दिस काइंड ऑफ मैसूर पाक एंड इट इज मेड द सेम वे मैसूर पाक इज मेड बट जस्ट अंडर डन सो वी गोइंग टू डू दैट एंड इट विल हैव द होल्स बट द मैसूर पाक इज गोइंग टू बी स्लाइटली सॉफ्टर एंड वेन यू पुट इन द माउथ इट विल जस्ट मेल्ट एंड द मैसूर पाक मेकिंग इज वेरी वेरी ईजी टू कप्स ऑफ शुगर टू एंड हाफ कप्स ऑफ घी एंड वन एंड हाफ कप ऑफ बेसन फर्स्ट वी नीड टू मेक शुगर सिरप सो दैट शुड बी वन स्ट्रिंग कंसिस्टेंसी दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू एड वॉटर जस्ट टू कवर द शुगर दैट्स इट सी वंस यू कवर इट दैन दिस विल गेट दिस ऑल वेरी ईजीली लॉट ऑफ पीपल दे एड लॉट ऑफ वॉटर देन यू हैव टू कुक इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम शुगर इज बिकम सिंगल थ्रेड कंसिस्टेंसी सिंगल थ्रेड मीन्स लुक एट द थ्रेड बींग फॉर्म but it's breaking off look at this that is what is good now add one and a half cup of besan that is chickpea flour into this and mix this nicely make sure that there are no lumps besan is mixed up without any lumps and the hot ghee is here and this should be smoking hot take little by little and pour it frothing so that is how your mysore pak will come out nice hot hot ghee ah like this now slowly ye na mere se bhi bada pet hai ye mysore pak ka pura ghee phi leta hai so let it drink the entire ghee so it's almost getting over now rest of the ghee slowly pour it okay look at this and keep cooking at the same time mix it look at this you can see some of the ghee starts coming out now pour the entire mixture into a pan okay. now do not move this let it be like this and you will get a very nice soft mysore pak with little holes you have poured the entire mixture there this will set it's going to take some time do not move this vessel and in no time you will have very nice mysore pak you know the holes may be small but you want nice soft when you bite it it should melt in your mouth only then your mysore pak is good for the sambar sadam add some oil you know in this we're going to add some chopped onion some green chilies some ginger garlic paste turmeric this is very simple saute all of them just for a minute you can add your favorite vegetables you know i'm adding broccoli also small eggplant drumstick carrots beans potatoes whatever vegetables you want you can add it to this because when this is done these vegetables pretty much will be kind of mashed up so saute these vegetables little bit add tomatoes you know some people like to add more tomatoes some people less it's up to you add little bit of hing add dal the tuwar dal that has been soaked one cup of tuwar dal and uh, One and a half cup of rice. Add water just to cover this. Add salt and put the lid on in the pressure cooker and let it cook on for three whistles. The rice will be mashed up, the vegetables will be fully cooked, dal also will be done. After that, we are going to do the masala for the sambar sadam. Everybody makes their own special masala for the sambar sadam. Here is red chilli. Add some coriander seeds. you know some garam masala and fennel cumin seeds little bit of methi seeds little bit of uh, chana dal some urad dal we going to dry roast these ingredients on a slow flame now in this add some coconut powder and also add some curry leaves and just let it cook for few more seconds till the coconut is slightly colored now and put it into a blender and make it into a coarse powder not fine coarse powder after you know four whistles this is look at it the dal should be kind of mashed up you can see some of the vegetables still visible like brinjal the carrot everything so you have to bring this to a nice boil and the masala what we did the sambar masala you going to add so this one is going to bring in all the flavors aha 
and mix all of this the masala is all mixing up in this add you know tamarind juice that will also give very good taste now you adjust the salt aha you can add lot more vegetables but for me the sambar sadam jing bang jing bang already awesome flavor definitely i need to add salt and mix this the aroma from the masala and everything is so good even your neighbors can tell you know some awesome sambar sadam is getting ready ah this is good you can add some jaggery or else even little bit of sugar ah now let's do the tempering now for this tempering we're going to add ghee in a pan add the mustard seeds jeera cumin seeds add red chili you know i love to add lot of cashew nuts but the queen victoria put me on a ration so i'm going to add very little cashew now in this we're going to do the chitapata chitapata and pour the entire thing on top of this and add some chopped coriander also now mix all of this oh pile beta now you know once you add the ghee and you have adjusted the salt the sambar sadam is ready the tempering has to have the ghee only then you will thoroughly enjoy and look at here my boondi is ready you put the sambar sadam the boondi and side some curd eat it finish it off with mysore pak look at the fuming okay look at how fuming this is like begging me come on wa chef you have eaten everything but sambar sadam is the king so idea of sambar sadam you know they make bisabella masala with that you can make bisabella bath whatever with the boondi on top you know the kara boondi okay and the yogurt pickle this is a ah, the yogurt and pickle on one side it is very very hot so from the side where it is getting cold take a little bit along with the boondi mm. queen victoria already had her share of sambar sadam she is again coming back and digging into my plate usually when you go to this small restaurant they give you a small piece and you actually eat the sweet first and eat the sambar sadam later but i am going to have first the sambar sadam how is it isn't it melting Melt. the mysore pak mm begin with the yogurt pickle and the boondi all combination dear friends make it eat it and you say ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik ding chik this mysore pak is filled with lot of great childhood memories of mine you got to try this make it and eat it when you eat the best of the best food you got to say ding chik ding chik ding chik